Oh man, I am tired YouTube. I think it's the time change. I know it's the time change, so it's going to be interesting how this is going to play out. All the more reason this next week is going to be crazy, and now that's what I'm going to talk about. So first, make sure you guys uh, like the video. Again, I've, I've been ranting over this last week how much it helps, and you guys are seeing actually YouTube's showing you the videos now. So if you do like this content, drop a like on it, and make sure you guys check out youtube.com slash the stock market that is our live streaming channel so we're going to be on tomorrow morning and i don't want to get you guys too hyped and this is the point of the video of understanding what's going to make the markets crazy i don't think it's going to be news driven um and that's and that's different you know we're going to be i'm going to be covering the news here but what's there is some news i'm going to share with you but i think what we're going to be seeing a lot of this week is actually uh you know i think the chances of the movements in the market happening is there but the question is now the digestion. I've talked about this. I called it the Korean barbecue strategy. Um, but literally, you know, a lot of what happened last week, in, in really since March 1st, I said this in the last video, things from Venezuela to China now dropping 4 or 5%. Those are the very important. It's going to take the market time to process it. And I think the further interpretation of that, and then, you know, we're going to have some news events and data stuff all throughout the week, but I think everything's going to culminate into some uh, a, a good wild ride. You know, you're seeing rates go all, all around. And really what we're going to be eyeing here, you guys, you know, it's Sunday night, but the key is Shanghai Composite. When that opens, I think that's what people are going to be looking at. Re uh, the pound just dropped uh, on reports that everybody is turning on Theresa May. Um, what else was there? Uh, Powell was on 60 Minutes, and he was very, very dovish. He said they're not in any hurry to change rates. You guys could go look that up. Uh, he just did 60 Minutes. So it was... Uh, you know, all around some good things. Oh, and another, I don't know, this was like crazy set of news. Um, Boeing, thank God my puts and my, my calls, it's probably going to it work for me in the sense uh, China just ordered 737s to come down uh, or to, to literally to not take flight. And that's because there was an Ethiopian crash. There was like some weird explosion in Sweden and even Trump's motorcade. But those that's just like weird news. Um, nothing to do with the stock market. But I, I put that in, you know, I didn't expect the Ethiopian thing to lead to something like that with China. So that's interesting. I think I'm going to be watching Boeing. But Everything is taking place from last week and a lot of this stuff we saw. And I think one thing that happened Friday that we missed um, and that we didn't really hear much about was that Xi Jinping canceled. Yeah, he took off Miralago off of his uh, schedule. And that's important because that was where they're supposed to do the final trade meeting and stuff between him and Trump. They're supposed to work that out. So we haven't got reports on that, how that's going to play out. I think it's going to be very interesting. And then again, all the stuff from last week, you know, we saw the ECB, we saw the, you know, we had the bad non-farm payrolls, the bad China data. So putting all of this together and then now, you know, even if China's quiet, they might do some weird stuff, you know, with like Boeing and all that. But now you see the ECB, you know, there's going to be a lot of different things going on. That's what I think is going to be crazy. And, you know, it, the market's just interesting. You know, if we take a look here, um, I'm not going to show you anything specific just to see really the last like what, 10 days. And this is kind of how we've been throughout March. This is how it's starting. And if we want to go back a little further, even you could kind of get the trajectory. It's like we were doing nothing and then all of a sudden it's slipping. And now a lot of people will bearish and, you know, or it's quick and easy to be bearish coming from what's already happened with the markets recently. So people are going to be quick to do that, but understand the timing. So what I'm saying to you guys is watch next week, uh, literally any developments of this news, even political stuff. But the moves we're going to see are going to be based off of both new events and I also think based off of digestion from the last couple of events that occurred. And then it even something reminded me, I guess Boeing's going to be one I'm going to be watching right in the morning tomorrow. And then Tesla, they've been kind of chaotic and back and forth with stuff. So that's going to be something to watch. But I'm going to keep that short and simple for you guys really, really quick. Hopefully you guys are ready and I'll see you guys on the stream tomorrow morning. So be there and let's trade. It's, it's going to be fun. And actually, I didn't put a poll, but what do you guys think so far is the biggest piece of information? I want to know what you guys are going to look at if I missed anything. Um, and both mild news to like, and what I mean, that's what I mean, mild news where it's stuff like, hey, this 
happen and I'm, you know, I'm going to make a video even on Amazon made some changes. There's a lot of mild news happening and that's the, the best thing. So what do you guys think is the most important? What did I miss, if anything? Or what do you guys, something I didn't cover in here, just comment it below. I'd love to hear from you guys. That's the point of this. We wanted discussion, source info, all that. So I love you guys. I'll see you in the morning. Have a great rest of your weekend and hopefully you guys go to sleep either early or really late to adjust to the time change. So love y'all. Peace out.